there's a flow of misinformation online about the virus. People must have access to accurate information to protect themselves. A dangerous epidemic of misinformation. And health officials are mounting a concerted effort to combat it. While the virus spreads, misinformation makes the job of our heroic health workers even harder. They're calling it an infodemic. The global misinfodemic is spreading. Stopping something going viral online almost as difficult as stopping a biological viral outbreak in the real world. We're not just battling the virus. We're also battling the trolls and conspiracy, conspiracy theorists. The World Health Organization is taking new approaches to tackle the problem. Misinformation on the coronavirus might be the most contagious thing about it. Uh, we call them infodemics. Falsehoods are filling the airwaves. So I think that this one could well be the first global one, yes. Wild conspiracy theories are infecting the internet. We're connecting with influencers on Instagram and YouTube, among others, to help spread, spread factual messages to their followers. The world must unite against this disease, too. Numerous sites and groups online have been falsely claiming that this virus is a result of some sort of biological warfare, some sort of bioweapon. The Chinese regime is censoring research on the origin of the CCP virus. Notices from two leading Chinese universities show the Chinese regime is censoring research around the origin of the virus. Now, this video on YouTube has more than 300,000 views. Any research around the virus's origin must first be approved by the ministry. But it's not true. 5G has absolutely no connection to the coronavirus. Universities in China are all tightly controlled by the state. And the vaccine is trust. Certificates of who's a recovered person, who's a vaccinated person. China's attempt to control the narrative surrounding the origin of the virus. First, trust in science. And I salute the journalists and others fact-checking the mountain of misleading stories and social media posts. But it's not true. This, this can be really dangerous. The WHO is working directly with tech companies on a daily basis to flag and take down bad information. We're building a band of truth-tellers that disperse fact and debunk myth. Social media companies must do more to root out hate and harmful assertions about COVID-19. Racism and xenophobia. Hatred is going viral. I don't want your coronavirus in my country. Trust in institutions. We apologize. We do not accept Chinese customers. So cordially racist. The possibility that the virus is man-made and leaked from a lab is also circulating. Together, let's reject the lies and nonsense out there. The Wuhan Institute of Virology is just 10 miles from the seafood market. It houses more infectious diseases than any lab in Asia, including coronaviruses. And although it seems logical, many people still think that the disease is people. Employees at the lab have been ordered not to talk to anyone about the new virus. Yes, really. Today, I'm announcing a new United Nations Communications Response Initiative to flood the internet with facts and science while countering the growing scourge of misinformation. We want to thank you for turning folks in and making sure we are all the same. China appointed its top military biowarfare expert to take over the lab at the beginning of February. A poison that is putting even more lives at risk. Go wash your hands and don't get dirty again by attacking others. Wir werden den zu entwickelnden Impfstoff letztendlich sieben Milliarden Menschen verabreichen. Da können wir uns keine Probleme mit bedrohlichen Nebenwirkungen leisten. Und doch werden wir die Entscheidungen zum Einsatz eines neuen Impfstoffes auf einer geringeren Datengrundlage als sonst fällen, damit wir schnelle Fortschritte erzielen. Systemprotest Wissenschaftler haben herausgefunden, dass die Menschen alles glauben. Solange der Satz mit den Worten beginnt, Wissenschaftler haben herausgefunden. Systemprotest. Systemprotest.
den Protest. Wissenschaftler haben herausgefunden, dass die Menschen alles glauben. Solange der Satz mit den Worten beginnt, Wissenschaftler haben herausgefunden. Systemprotest. Sei wie Darth Vader. Er trägt eine Maske, besucht seinen Sohn und seine Tochter nicht. Sozial und emotional distanziert. Befolgt Anweisungen. Minnesota, a doctor and state senator from Minnesota, Scott Jensen, joins us tonight. I received an email last week from the Department of Health coaching me on how to fill out death certificates. And I've never really received coaching from the Vital Statistics uh, Agency in terms of how to do a death certificate. But basically, I felt like they were saying, you know, you don't have to have a confirmed laboratory test for COVID-19 in order to make the death certificate a COVID-19. Why in the world would they be sending you out information to fill out death certificates, whether the person's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or not, but then to say the death certificate, this person's death was caused by COVID-19? Well, fear is a great way to control people. And I worry about that. Just for clarity, you were sent a seven page document by who again? The Department of Health. dann sollte man sich mal fragen, wer steckt hinter dieser Weltgesundheitsorganisation? Was wir erleben ist, im Grunde ist das nichts anderes als ein finanzfaschistischer Coup und zwar international orchestriert. Und ich glaube, dass die ganze, äh, äh, diese, diese ganze Hysterie, die um das Coronavirus gemacht wird, auch dieser Enteignung dient.